is the most underused treatment for a blocked nose and sinuses. See, many of my patients actually try and clear their nose using steroid sprays, but the mucus stops it from acting. Now, if we just cleared out that mucus by using the correct rinse, it would actually reduce the likelihood of us getting infections like viruses or bacteria that just get stuck in our nose and become quite difficult to clear even later on. It's called Neil Med Sinus Rinse, and you just squirt it up one nostril, and that clears the opposite side, as you can see here. Be careful, though. Because if you're using something like a neti pot, you can actually fill this up with your own fluid, which does do the job, but you've got to be incredibly careful not to just use tap water. You can use cold boiled water or sterile saline. Don't follow that advice. There is a small risk that you could be introducing a brain-eating amoeba into your brain through the top of your nasal cavity called Negleria fowleri. This is a much worse issue than a blocked nose as almost 100% of patients who catch this condition actually don't.